So I've been working on my modular flight sim controller project and um, this is the direction I'm thinking of going for the lid. So this is 80 by 80 by 5. I think I've reduced the wall thickness down to 3. I think 5 is excessive. Um, so it has a grid on the bottom for easy lining up of where you want to mount stuff. So you can drill a hole or you can print it with the hole in there if you have a printer of your own. Um, so you can put stuff in a neat grid if the holes are already there. Um, I think I'll get rid of the horizontal and vertical lines. I don't. I put them there to make it easier to cut out sections, like to act as a guide. But I don't really foresee a reason to cut out sections. Um, I've also got these big circular holes there for mounting stuff like joysticks. So if you have a, a joystick module, you need to be able to cut a hole that's of a certain size. It's easy if there's lines you can file to or cut to or whatever. Um, so this is a like an arcade style joystick. It's got um, four micro switches in there, so that gives you eight directions. Um, I got one of these because they were cheap and just on the shelf at a local shop. I've ordered some of the three-axis potentiometer ones, and they need that hole. Um, so those are the two types of joysticks. Um, I'll put a link in the description that I'll be supporting for this thing. Um, the other thing I've been working on is how to join the boxes. So I've printed a vertical slice of the box here and then snapped it in half to sort of fiddle about with different ways of joining the boxes together because um, the, the, you want to be able to butt the modular sections together, electrically connect them with a, with a pin or something. I haven't quite worked that out yet. But they also need to be mechanically connected together. So I've been fiddling around with different options of like little locking T-shaped things that go through a slot to, to join them together. But I think I've settled on something like this. So there's a um, pin, just like that, and then there's a, a slot, like a little clip that goes on the other end. And so in the sides of the boxes there'll be a little hole that's that square, and then you'll put this pin through the hole, or through both of them, to join them together, and then this little widget clicks on that side to pin them together. And that's a pretty tight bond, not irremovable. Irremovable, is that a word? Not permanent. You can take it apart if you want to rearrange the modules, so you can have the joysticks on either side of some switches, or the switches at the top, or whatever you like. Um, but, you know, decent, decently strong, substantial, and that clips across. Well, the, these slots here will be a square hole and then when you want to join them together you put that pin through and then click it together and it would hold them together like so. And so there'll be two of those per face so they can't twist. And um, then yeah, the electrical connection going between them. I haven't quite worked out how the electrical connection is going to work. So I'm thinking there'll be a PCB in the bottom of each box and then some sort of linker that goes between them. And you can get these little sort of edge connectors, PCB edge connectors that kind of look like that. And they're only a dollar each. And then the PCB slides in there and the other PCB slides in there. And then they have, you can get them starting at four, going up to like 50 pins to join the to make contact with the pads on the top and bottom of the PCB. So that, that's a relatively affordable way of doing it, and they would sit there. Um, so th this PCB would have um, all the points to connect the switches or joysticks or whatever you like, and each one would have 5 volts, sense, and ground. So you can hook that up to a potentiometer easily. Um, and the prototypes I've been doing so far I've been using these, uh, it's an Atmel 32U4, this is a uh, Arduino Pro Micro clone, they're like seven bucks. It's easy enough to put all these bits on here onto a board. I don't know if I put a USB board, I think I might just have some solder tabs to solder on a USB cable, because only one module will need a USB connection, and the rest of them will talk to each other with SPI or I2C or something. But that's the project so far. Here's some more switches. Oh yeah, I was going to show 
So this is what the um, this is my armament HUD control panel from an A10C. Um, so it's obviously in an aluminium box, but this is the kind of thing I want to be able to have enable people to build um, just by slotting modular modular units together. So in this case, each of these switches goes back over these two eight core cables to a Arduino Micro, which is quite dirty. <coughs> Arduino Uno? Something. One of the Arduinos that does USB emulation. But yeah, so this is a pain in the butt to make because you could drill aluminium and there's lots of stuff. Whereas if you could sort of assemble a module together out of components, that'd be great. Okay, bye bye.